Good morning from Assen. We're bringing you live coverage of the Moto3 race at the Dutch TT. The rain has been falling non-stop for a few hours now, but don't worry, the start of the race isn't at risk. Track conditions are safe enough. So the race is about to begin, and the riders know that all the hard work they've put in won't mean a thing if they can't cross the finish line in one of the positions that counts. Hi guys and welcome to some more MotoGP 17 gameplay. So it's been a little while since our last MotoGP 17 video thanks to the busy period of E3. But of course we're getting back now into some MotoGP action here with a three lap race at Assen for the Dutch TT. Now this is a Moto3 race. And as you can see this is the heaviest rain conditions in the game. So you will see the frame rates uh, chugging a little bit here and there it's not as perfectly smooth as you can see but nonetheless it still was a decent enough experience you come around this really tight left hand that like seems to go on forever doesn't it you get your speed down way to the sort of low 30s and then gradually you get back on the power but uh challenging stuff in the wet that's for sure uh, of course we didn't take part in qualifying so we did start this race in last place so we have made already 10 places and we get kept through there. Look at that, a couple of overtakes there as we hit the chicane on the right-hander and coming around this left-hander now. Running a little bit wide. So you will see me running wide here and there. I've still got to get used to the conditions. So it's by no means a perfect race, but nonetheless it was fun. So I thought I'd share this with you guys. And of course we've got some more E3 coverage coming up as we hit the rear tyre of the rider in front. Coming around here and into this right-hander. So, of course, as saying, I'm here because of the recent Moto GP race, which saw some pretty good action. We saw Zarco, Marquez, and Rossi up front early on, and Trucci making a move on Marquez. Of course, the rain happened, and then with about six laps or so to go, we had a four horse race with uh, two lead changes with a few laps to go. And of course, we saw Crutchlow on the mediums with some good pace, which made for some pretty epic battles at the front of the pack. Won't spoil who won or any of that though, but uh, it was good stuff. So we come around this chicane here to bring us on to the start finish straight to complete the first lap of three. So, about to hit the brakes then. So slightly earlier, this time as I make contact there with a ride, we do go up into 14th place now. This is on the semi-pro physics. Had that been on the pro, I probably would have come off my bike just then with that contact. So I'm not quite experienced enough with the game to be able to play on pro and put in consistent laps that you know, don't involve me coming off the bike basically. So I am persevering with semi-pro for now and eventually I will move up into the pro physics as I get more experience with the game. So I'm not actually coming off the bike every five seconds. So it is you know, one of those things you really need to be experienced. Uh, I do find it a bit of a struggle sometimes to avoid the riders. So it's all about spending a little bit more time with the game and then putting on, or taking off I should say, those assists. So this AI I must mention is on hard difficulty. And uh, this is the version 104 for MotoGP on the PlayStation. So this was a recent update that came out. So you come around this left hand, I'm completely missing the apex there. So slightly got my lines, uh, my breaking point wrong through there. We're under pressure now from the 11th rider now, who just gets the overtake. We've got to be patient with the throttle coming around this right-hander. You can see there I got on the throttle too early, end up losing out another place, so it does pay to be patient even when you're under pressure, even if you feel you're going to lose a place. Uh, it's so tempting just to get on the throttle, but of course you end up losing out every time. So it's a, it's all about discipline as I run wide there, but I'm able to get back on a reasonably good racing line there, so we get the place back there, back into 12th place as I have a little look here on the outside we're going to come around the chicane to complete the second lap here as I'm piling on the pressure from the riders in front so we're about in the middle of the pack here did start in last place so a good sort of mid pack battle coming around this tight right hander really is tight you've got to do you've got to stay on the brakes as you turn in and just flat through here of course before hitting the brakes on this right hander sweeping right it just carries on and on and on and of course you've got this other apex here so it's up to you how you want to take that turn and into this really tight left hairpin so we'll just squeeze 
using pass, a little bit of contact. Can we make this, the move stick just about? So we managed to get into 12th place as we attack this long straight then. Lovely section this, you're, this right hand is just flat completely and when you do hit the apex like that it's beautiful, it really does give you that satisfying feeling and this left hander you feel you can take it quicker than you actually can and then you've got this right hander here where you have to get on the brakes, it does creep up to you very quickly this right hander and again it's one of those turns that you feel you can take at more speed but the moment you do you know you end up going wide or off the track and I guess the same is true with this left hander here too so tricky conditions but it does add that nice challenge to the game and you know especially when you're driving uh, riding I should say these Moto3 bikes you've really got to keep the speed up keep them rolling so it's pretty challenging again this right hander we just took there was flat and again through here is flat so you get the right into the left getting it wrong now onto the grass well just managing to stay on the bike there and end up rescuing the line there somewhat and actually making the overtake so that was interesting wasn't it on the brakes then through the chicane then putting the pressure on the riders in front but we're not going to make any move there so we're in 12th place as we come around the last turn then onto the start finish straight and we're going to be holding off this rider behind now very close across the finish line managing to hold on to 12th but that was it for some MotoGP 17 action and we'll have more coming up very shortly well how do you like it makes me feel